So I have my Play-Doh model of a triangular prism and the actual plastic model, the mold that I use to make this model. I'm laughing because this was really hard to make for me. Um, couldn't get it to work out just right. It's got all these indentations on it, discoloration, it's a little messed up. But when I take my floss and cut it, uh, I think we'll be able to see that this, this model, even though it's really rough, it, it kind of gets the job done. So first we're gonna cut um, parallel with our floss, parallel to the base. Now this is kind of hard to do with the floss. I'm just gonna take my floss and wrap it around the shape, right, like a belt. And then I've got my belt, and I'm just gonna pull right, slowly to make my cut. It's a nice easy way of doing that, a nice belt cut, right? Pull until it goes all the way through. And then when I lift up, you can see that if we cut a triangular prism, parallel to the base, we get triangles, right? And that makes sense for a lot of reasons. But think about it, if you're cutting parallel to the base of a prism, you're going to get that shape that's on the base, right? And here, if we put it back together, um, if I can put it back together, oh boy, this shape, not the best. Okay. All right, just kind of squish it back together. And now what I'm gonna do is cut perpendicular to the base. So again, this is a super rough model, but I think it gets the job done. So now we take our floss and push it down perpendicular to the base. And we're gonna try to pull this apart. And it's gonna look really rough, but we can get a sense of the shape here. Right, I'm gonna peel it there. Okay. So again, this is a super rough cut, but you can see, especially if I did a good job here, I'm gonna squeeze these edges in here, these faces in here, excuse me. Um, uh, what I get, even though it's a triangle from one perspective, it's a rectangle from the other perspective, right? Our triangular prism still there, but there's our rectangular face. And for, my, for me, for my mind's eye, if we look at at least this cut right here, you can see it's like almost just a smaller, right, triangular prism. It's like a triangular prism with a smaller volume than the original. And if we look at the original, right, you can see, and imagine if this was a cross section, get that perfect rectangle, right? Every face is a rectangle from this lateral perspective, just like this face is also um, a rectangle. So that's our triangular prism. And if you do this, um, Feel free to cut at other angles and discover new things. Hopefully your model will look better than mine. But even if it's this rough, you can really see what's happening with those cross-sectional cuts. All right, thanks.